Hey guys, Ant Venom here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And you guys are probably asking, well, what the heck is this? Um, you guys will figure it out soon enough. There's going to be a new a new video going up fairly soon within the next couple days here that will explain all of this and how I flattened out this land and made this and whatnot. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new item that was Im implemented into Minecraft Beta 1.5. And it's actually an item that you cannot get legitimately through any legitimate means in Minecraft. You actually have to spawn the item yourself. And the item that I'm talking about are spider webs. Now, you guys are probably thinking, well, I haven't seen these. Well, that's because they actually haven't been implemented into Minecraft yet. Just the items themselves and their functionality, but you can't get them. So, as I already stated, and it's starting to rain. So my my boy uh, my boy Wolfie here I'll call him I'll call him Sparky or Sparkles or something after Captain Sparkles or something I'll call him Sparky I like the name Sparky my friend Sparky here is going to be showing you how these work now if I just you can just place them right on the ground at least as they are right now and then you can punch them out of the ground as well and uh, you can just recollect them as such if I walk into one of these uh, from either from right here. It will slow me down, and it slows me down by about five times the amount that I would normally walk. And that also happens if I walk through it on uh, my bottom half as well. So that I'm only showing you that because of something I'm going to show you here in a little bit. If I place one of these down on the ground and I throw items like on top of it, for example, just like this, you can see the ones that, on top, that are on top actually start falling really, really slowly. And these will fall for about 20 seconds before they finally hit the ground. Uh, so I'll leave that there for a second just to do its thing. If I place one of these down, I'll place a few of them, just, just for show, and I place blocks on top of them, as you can see here. When blocks are placed on top of these, they, uh, they, operate, like, they operate like normal, like solid blocks. But if you punch out this block, for example, uh, the sand block here, that'll fall, it'll uh, stay slowed for four seconds, and it'll pop right out and be an item that you can just collect. So let's do that here. Let's get rid of these here. And yeah, so that's how uh, spider webs affect item blocks now now that you've seen that and how it affects people uh, let's show you how it affects animals here i'm going to place a row of these down it's kind of a a messy row and i'm gonna make make my my pup sit up here and as you can see it slows down animals quite a bit i actually didn't expect them to jump into that so that's a a really good example so let's punch these ones out and as you can see it's being slowed down quite a bit come on boy come on boy there you go all right let's get rid of these now I'm going to need you to sit down again because that was all I needed you for for the demonstration. I should build like a kennel for them or something. I've gotten that as a, as a suggestion for the wolves that are in my world that I should build a kennel for them because it's raining outside. I'm thinking I should probably stop the rain. Uh, let's hit T here and type in... Uh, I think it's... Yeah, if I type in weather and rain, it'll actually stop the rain. So it'll take a second here. Just so you don't get wet. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so now to show you the rest of what uh, what spiderwebs do here, I'm going to place down a bunch of minecart tracks. Now, as you guys know before, what I did was uh, when I walked through them here, just like this, it actually still does slow me down. But for whatever reason, when you place these on top of minecart tracks, and they do f the, the fact that they're floating is normal, and I'm going to power these tracks here so I can actually move across them. When I place these down here, you would think of while I was in the minecart, it would actually affect where I'm going. But if I'm if I make the minecart move here, and I move through it, it actually doesn't affect me at all. And uh, that actually happens normally with uh, blocks as well. I'll show you sand blocks here. There's something that's kind of neat to note. As the sand blocks float above here, which, like I said before, is perfectly normal. It actually won't. Okay, it actually does do damage to me. But you can pass right through it. Like it won't block you or anything like that. The spider webs don't do any, wouldn't do any damage to you anyways, so that's why sand did do damage to me because it was consider, it was considering me suffocating. So yeah, another thing weird to note as well, and I've seen uh, this implemented in a style where like you can protect your home. If I place a bunch of these up, for example, like a door or something like that, and I fire a bunch of arrows at it. You can actually see that the arrows don't fall at all. They just treat the wall here like a normal wall. And if I get rid of these, the arrows themselves are actually, will actually fall. So that's kind of weird. But I thought that would be something that would be interesting to note. So you can actually like guard your house this way. 
So like if you had spider, if you had skeletons that were chasing after you, uh, you know, you could go right through it and their arrows wouldn't hit you at all. And something that's neat to note, like you saw my wolf got stuck in it earlier, uh, any animal, including spiders, will actually get stuck at it. So I don't think these have really been, their code has really been completed for them yet. When I place uh, spider webs down on the ground and I actually prime TNT for explosion while doing it, now I'm going to need to back up here. I should probably get my wolf out of the way too. Let's get him over here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Nope. All right, sit down. Perfect. If I place TNT on top of it and I prime it for explosion, it does the same thing as any other item as if, as if it was falling. It just slowly falls for a few seconds and then finally explodes. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, really, the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is uh, when you place these on the ground. When you place these on the ground, these actually, like I showed you before, when you fire arrows, they act as a normal wall. So if I place paintings on top of these, for example, these act like normal walls. So you can just use it in this fashion. I'm actually going to punch out that one so I can uh, so I can get my arrow back. But yeah, these do treat these like normal walls. So if you ever wanted to disguise like a doorway, like if you were looking at this right here, you would never know that there are spider webs hidden behind here and you would just walk into it being all slowed. Though if you were smart, why would you walk into a painting? Although these can be implemented in weird ways. Uh, if you punch these out, there's a chance that the paintings themselves, or at least for a few seconds, will actually remain floating. And I actually did have one that stayed floating for a, quite a while before. I think if you do something like that, yeah, the painting will actually stay in place. It's only if you destroy a block that's right next to it. Though it does, in, inevitably, in a few seconds, actually does pop out of its place. So, yeah. Um, really, the last thing that I'm going to show you guys, um, well, I'm actually not going to show you, but I'm just going to tell you, is that if you go into the nether with spider webs and you actually are, like, trapped in a spider web like this, I, I'm not sure if it's like this or like this, ghasts actually can't see you. Kind of weird thing to note, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you guys as far as, uh, as far as spider webs go in patch or patch in Minecraft beta 1.5. Uh, hopefully this will get implemented here pretty soon. I think they are pretty fun to mess with and they do have some some pretty major implementation implementations. Ugh, I've been talking for too long that they can be used in Minecraft. So anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ant Venom and I bid you all farewell. And wow, there's a lot of wolves back here. Where are my bones? There's my bones. I'm going to create the biggest wolf pack ever. Come here, guys. Come here. Come here. These are, these guys, by the way, were naturally spawning. I didn't do any. I didn't actually spawn these behind here. They would have been walking all over the place. Come here. Come here. All right. You're sitting. You're sitting. You're sitting. Where's the wild one? There's the wild one. Yeah. God, that took a lot of them, though. And then there's one more over here. Come here, guys. Come here. I know you want to be a part of my wolf pack. I know you all want to be a part of my wolf pack. And then you all want to get trapped in my spider webs. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.